Hey, what's happening, family? It's your man, Mark Black. You know what time it is. It's time for your morning, Joe. By the way, just as a reminder, got your morning Joe cup right here, right? This helps support my channel. Um, I'm not wearing it this morning, but I also have some ADOS unofficial merchandise, of course, ADOS shirts available. Um, if you can't or do not want to buy a shirt, or pick up a Morning Joe mug, right? You can also find links in the description field below to just provide some support. Again, I'm not trying to get rich, but your support is definitely needed and definitely appreciated. This morning, I want to talk about a topic that is apropos after yesterday. As you all well know, I did not record a Morning Joe yesterday. Um, having some sinus trouble, right? It, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm still slightly a bit congested, all right? And so I wanted to talk about what I'm going to call the care and feeding of ADOS people, right? In this country, as all of you well know, people take better care of the damn pets, right? Dogs, cats, rabbits, etc., than they do of people, right? We live in a country where People will spend millions of dollars a year, billions of dollars a year to feed and care for and take care of dogs, cats and other pets. But will step over somebody who's unemployed, homeless, uh, starving, etc. on the street. And it's important that we look at how we have to operate in a space like that, right? How we have to not only care for each other in this particular arena, but also how we have to care for ourselves, you know, right? Self-care is important as ADOS, right? As a lot of you know, healthcare outcomes for ADOS people in this country are just downright atrocious. Most times when we go into medical facilities such as hospitals or urgent care, we don't receive the level of care that we should from caretakers. Um, when we're in pain or we're suffering or we're hurting, a lot of the time we are accused of drug seeking behavior when we try to seek palliatives, right? You know, pain medication and things like that. So. Because of that, it's absolutely imperative that we discuss ways and means of being able to take care of ourselves and to take care of each other, you know, other than just putting some tussing on it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So the first thing that I want to mention as an aspect of self-care is adequate rest. You know, the thing is, is that one of the things that I'm really glad to see that I'm excited about is the level of energy, the passion that a lot of ADOS people have. I mean, every day I'm seeing people come together from all across the country to organize, right, to get together, to work on various projects, work on various things. The passion, the energy, the fire is infectious. And I really mean infectious. As a matter of fact, it almost acts like a disease. Let me explain. As you all well know, I do my morning Joe broadcasts. I have my sucker free Saturday broadcasts. I do a lot of research. Um, and so on and so forth. I also have my Discord server where we can chat via you know, text uh, without having to worry about trolls and other various groups of motherfuckers being privy to what we're talking about. We also do a uh, voice chat. I just spoke with a, a few brothers the other day on the Discord. Shout out to my brother's real spill. My brother is C's, uh, double C, uh, ADOS. And uh, also, uh, who else was a part of that? Uh, I've spoken to, you know, various individuals via Discord, uh, Sister Remy and others, right? So a lot of the time, people are asking me if I want to appear on different broadcasts, 
uh, participate in different groups and things like that. And as much as I would love to say yes to it all, I also am a householder. I have meals to prepare uh, because I'm unemployed. Right. I, I, I don't work. Right. So I have to do other things. Um, I have meals to prepare, uh, you know, errands to run, things to do. And because of the level of intensity and excitement around this transformational moment, unfortunately, I find myself a lot of the time having to try not to overcommit to things. This doesn't mean that I don't support a lot of people's efforts or goals. It doesn't mean that I don't want to appear on people's uh, broadcasts or, you know, be interviewed by people. It just means that I have to really make sure to husband my time because it's the one thing I cannot get back. Right. So the first aspect of care and feeding for ADOS people is be respectful of your and other ADOS people's time simply because a brother or a sister doesn't want to go whole hog in on a project like you do or doesn't have much to say. They might lurk and, and don't comment that much or whatever the case may be. It doesn't mean that they don't want to. They may be unable to. Another aspect of that is mental health care, right? Um, ADOS folk face a lot of mental health issues because some of us, very many of us, grow up in traumatic environments. A lot of us are have undiagnosed PTSD issues. Some of us, you know, have personality issues, you know, like borderline personality disorder. Narcissism runs rampant among ADOS folk. I'm not I'm not a diet, you know, a, a clinician. Right. So I'm not making diagnoses, but I got eyes to see and ears to hear. Right. Mental health care is so imperative for ADOS people that I cannot stress it enough. Right. You need to be able to decompress. You need to be able to talk to someone who is objective, who won't judge you, meaning you might need to go see a therapist. It's good to talk to your brothers and sisters, but, you know, people gossip, people take your business and they share it inappropriately. Um, people might have their own issues with you and what you're doing. Right. So it's it's always good to have somebody you can go talk to that doesn't have a horse in your life's race, so to speak. So you can feel free to say even the darkest shit that's in you without worry of judgment or having to try to please them or be concerned about what they're saying. You know, that's that's hugely important. Play. If you have children, play with your kids, man. I'm going to tell you, there's nothing better for me than to interact with children. I, I love kids. I always have gotten along well with kids from babies all the way up to teenagers. Right. Get that young energy. Go and be a part of that young energy, right? Run the fuck around. If it snows where you are, go build a snowman. You know, go and do some of the stuff that you used to do when you was a kid before the weight of the world started sitting on your shoulders. That's that's super important. Um, you know, try as best you can to eat well. I'm not saying, you know, you got to have filet mignon and truffle sauce every night. Right. But, you know, cook some meals. Right. I cook a lot of one pot meals because I have a whole family to feed. Right. So I'll, I'll brown up the meat and do up some noodles, mix up a sauce and bam, there's dinner. You know what I mean? Right. But I try to cook for my family at least once a day, if not twice a day. Like if I get up in enough time to do breakfast, I do breakfast for them. Right. Um, you know, and so on and so forth. Right. Try to eat healthy. Another thing about the care and feeding of ADOS people is that everything we do as ADOS people, we need as best we're able to try and do it together. Right. I know it goes counter to everything that everybody tells you. Right. When you turn 18, you usually are the recipient of a conversation that goes something like this. 
All right, nigga, you grown now. By law and by custom, I don't owe you shit else. So if you're going to be up in this motherfucker, you're going to need to contribute. You're going to have to do this, that, the third, and, and run down a whole litany of shit, right? Introducing you to adulthood, right? We kick our kids out the door as soon as fucking possible. Meanwhile, other groups have kids that stay in their house, 25, 26. They get laws and legislation passed. Like that whole health care thing where your kids can be insured underneath your health pl- healthcare plan up until like 26 years old. That would never have passed if it was ADOS people who wrote the law. Mm-mm. We, we throw our people out, out into the world to sink or swim, to rise or fall. We stuck on this really hyper individualistic thing and it's killing us. Right. One of the things about being ADOS is we got to be grounded in the truth. The truth of the matter is, is we cannot afford a bunch of separate households as much as we would like to each one of us have our own car, our own apartments or houses, our own shit. We can't call it. So we have to start learning how to work and care for each other communally. Right. Meaning y'all going to have to live and double up. Your kids can't just up and bounce just because they might have completed college. They ain't getting jobs out here, right? Nobody's trying to hire ADOS people like that. So we have to make sure to make each other's care and feeding a focus. If there's food enough for one, there's food enough for two. If there's food enough for two, it's food enough for four, right? If I got to pay lights, rent, and so on and so forth for myself, I might as well have, you know, the okay in my heart, right? The wherewithal in my heart to make room for another person, another ADOS person, right? You see an ADOS person out there on the street struggling, scratching, scraping, and surviving. Get involved in their life if you're able. Sure, a lot of them have issues. They may be um, addicts, okay? So you may need to help guide them in the direction of getting clean if you're able to, right? You can't just bring them into your house, But you can make a way for them. You can help make a way for them. They may have forgotten or never even known how to make a way for themselves. Not everybody out here has had a good solid foundation for their life built. Built for them. Because those of you who have it, that was a gift. It was built for you by your folks, by your family, by the people that loved you. Not everybody had that. But you can be that. For another ADOS person, right? If you have a place of employment, every time there's a job opening, you need to be grabbing another ADOS person. Filipinos do it. Mexicans do it. White folks do it. Everybody do it except for us. What if it's a supervisory job? Well, if you don't qualify for it, I'm certain you know somebody who do. Right. Get one of your own in there to help you to run the place, manage the place, keep the books. Right. Deposit the funds and so on and so forth. We have to get away from this idea that we out here all alone doing it all by ourselves. The shit is destroying us. It's killing us. Right. Let's come together in every area that we're able to do so. One other thing I want to mention before I end my morning Joe this morning is that stop looking at this like a war. Sure, we have verbal and at some point may even have physical combat with detractors, enemies, opponents, etc. But this ain't a war. We're not a prisoner of war, people. If we are, we lost that war a long time ago. Our ancestors were sold over here and we've been here, right? You citizens. You don't have to constantly live on a war footing. Should you defend yourself? Yup. Should you look out for yourself and each other? Yup. But at the end of the day, man, you got to live your life too. You know what I'm saying? Hug somebody today. Look at an ADOS person and say, hey, peace to you, esteemed brother and sister. Right. Support your interests wherever you're able. You know, I offer merchandise. Also the opportunity to tip me. Do it. Use it. It's there for you. Right. I'm here for you. But, you know, I got to survive, too. Right. So help where you can. 
That's all I wanted to say on it today, family. Make sure you get your rest. Make sure that you, you know, get some studying in. Make sure you decompress every so often, right? If you don't have a therapist and you need one, there's a lot of great resources on the internet to find you somebody who's going to help you kind of walk through the, the trauma, the dark stuff, the stuff you haven't faced, all right? Make sure you get some mental health care and so on and so forth. Um, try to cook something for yourself every day. You know, eat as healthy as you can, right? Stop casting your people out away from you. Stop pushing them away from you. Stop throwing your kids out. Stop, you know, um, uh, throwing your, your old uncle out, right? D embrace the brother. Let him stay. You see what I'm saying? Um, you know, play with kids. Jump in the damn fountain and splash the water around. Look up at the bright blue sky and be glad to be here, right? We had the easiest of travails here in Fortress America, but it don't get no easier if we don't practice proper care for ourselves and for our people as a collective. Don't forget to pick up your mug, grab a shirt if you want one, right? Links to also books are in the description field. Those books help to support my channel too as well. I thank you. We're rapidly approaching a thousand subs and that's all on you. Make sure you like, share, and if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. And until the next time I see you, I want to wish you all love, peace, prosperity, and power, real power to our people.